Hi, I'm Paul Perdue, and I am the infrastructure nerd. And I'm Mary Jo Boyd, a legal technologist. You know, we have integration with World Docs. It pushes matters out from Practice Master or tabs to World Docs and allows lawyers and paralegals and anybody that's in Practice Master to see the documents from World Docs while they're in Practice Master on that matter. You know, that is like a really cool feature. But, you know, we have a lot of clients that are on NetDocs, too. Right. And That's they right. have Net Documents, and they'd really like to do that, too. Well, now they can with the new Net Documents integration in version 19. Oh, awesome. Can you show us? I sure can. So, here we are in Practice Master. That, of course, is where the integration with Net Documents takes place. Um, Although you can add a matter in tabs and, and it'll flow through Practice Master and therefore through the net documents. So there's two ways that we currently integrate with World Docs. You can add a matter or a client or, or change a work description, change a client name, and those changes or those additional matters will flow automatically over to net documents, same as World Docs. Um, you can also be in a matter in either the client file or the matter manager, and there will be a uh, let me get in there right now. There will be a take action item called View Net Documents Workspaces, kind of the same as World Docs. You will notice, though, that we use the word workspace because in Net Documents you can design workspaces that are specific to the matter. So we're not just taking you to a search results screen after having uh, asked Net Documents to search for a certain matter. We're actually finding that matter's workspace and displaying it to you. So if I highlight the ADA employment issue for Michael Larson, where I happen to have some Net Documents documents, and I hit View Net Documents Workspace, here I am in the uh, list of documents for that particular matter. I'm, I'm sorry, not exactly the list of documents, but the workspace for that particular matter. Now that behavior is, is kind of synonymous with what we're used to seeing in World Docs. Um, we uh, do also, of course, have the ability to push things over. Uh, so let me talk about that for a second. If we go into maintenance and then integration and then that documents integration, this is much like the integration that we have for World Docs, same sort of thing. We enable it. Uh, it's already enabled, so now the button says disable. Uh, we can uh, change the login that's being used, and we can configure uh, which um, repository we're accessing. If the firm happens to have multiple repositories, that's unlikely. Uh, we're not talking about cabinets, repositories. And then which cabinet is used for client integration. You choose one, um, and then you choose the specific fields that are being used to indicate the client number and the matter number and whether or not you're going to uh, use separate fields in that documents or combine them like they already are in Practice Master. Pretty much the same sort of setup. We've got the sync now so that when you first set it up, uh, it will push all your existing matters and clients over to net documents. Now there's one important thing to notice or to mention in here that's different than the World Docs integration. The World Docs integration requires that it be set on for every user. <clears throat> whether or not they're going to access documents, whether or not they're going to create matters. Uh, if they're going to do either of those two things and World Docs integration is not set on for them, then uh, it's not going to it's not going to integrate uh, uh, with World Docs. In Net Documents, it's different. A user must set up Net Documents integration for themselves, and that then carries through to all the other uh, users. And so if we get it set up for one user, every user that uh, is already in the system when we set it up, plus every user that may be added to the system later, is automatically included in that Net Documents integration. Now, you may not be thinking that that's all that exciting, but it is. And here's why. If we have to set up World Docs integration for every user uh, in, in, in that integration step, then it's, it's, it's entirely possible that a user can get it turned off. Uh, we, we all know how those users are. And so if they can get it turned off, then what that means is that, A, it won't work for them anymore as far as pulling up documents for a specific matter. But more importantly, until it gets turned back on, until somebody notices, it's not, also either, uh, it's, it's not pushing up matters to, Net Doc, or to World Docs either. Here, uh, 
no matter whether or not your net documents integration is set on, as long as the main user is set on, then that's what's going to be working. Uh, so there is no need to worry about it getting unset for a particular user. And if it has become unset, you don't have to go through the process of resynchronizing the, the clients and matters. So that is kind of significant. It's kind of an in the background sort of feature, if you will. Uh, you don't think about it, but <laughs> it, it's significant. Um, now, there's one other really cool way that NetDocuments integrates with uh, Practice Master that WorldDocs does not have, and that we can then take all the NetDocuments documents and put them on a tab within the client file, within the matter manager, for access directly through Practice Master. And although I don't have it set up here, we can create quick views and filters and column layouts that take advantage of those records so that we can provide oh, a view of all of my documents or a view of all the documents created in the last seven days or whatever filtering and whatever quick views we want to create. That is huge because now you've got, not only do you have the ability uh, on any other screen, I should say, to view the Net Documents workspace, but you can see those Net Documents documents organized the way you want them directly within a tab in Practice Master. And we have found that to be significant in the, in the firms that we've tested this with uh, and something that they like a lot. So there you have it the ability to integrate with Net Documents and push clients, matters, and changes to those client names work descriptions over to Net Documents, the ability to access the Net Documents workspace from the matter, uh, either in the matter manager or in the client file, and this newly uh, uncovered uh, function that that wasn't isn't there for the World Docs integration, where we have a separate document, a uh, separate tab that shows you the Net Documents documents. Obviously, of course, you wouldn't be using Practice Master's internal document management, so this tab would be turned off and the Net Documents tab would remain. So, so there you have it. Net Documents integration built right into Practice Master. And that's just one more way that we can help you to worry less and practice more. <laughs>